Hi Sagittarius, this is Sade from Blue Alley's Tarot. I'm here to do your February uh, general reading. We will cover love, career, and finances, basically whatever comes out. Um, please also like, share, and subscribe to the video. If you would like to book a personal reading, please click the um, link in the description box below. And let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, can you please bless this reading for Sagittarius and give clear, accurate messages for the month of February? What does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit? What does Sagittarius need to know for the month of February? upside down <clears throat> spirit give me one more message there we go okay so the first one says digging for gold marrying for money not love wanting to spend all of their partners cash get into relationships for material things so maybe someone is with you because of what you can do for them in your finances, or this could be your energy. Maybe you are with someone due to finances, um, material things, but it basically is just saying someone around you is a gold digger. Then the next one says for the clout, doing it all for the fame, attention, views, doesn't want to be left alone being fake. So that kind of goes with the gold digger. So um, whoever you're dealing with, they really like, like attention. They like um, all the material things that come with dealing with you. And it's basically saying that this is a fake person that you're dealing with. The last one says distorted feminine, fear of conflict, hypersensitive, rejection of rationality, too receptive, waiting for things to happen. So keep in mind that, you know, this could be your energy or um, you can reverse it and this may be a uh, higher person is feeling. So take it however it resonates. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot to see exactly what's going on so we can dive into that. Spirit, once again, can you please bless this reading for Sagittarius for the month of February? Can you please tell me what Sagittarius need to know for the month of Sep I'm sorry, February. Please give clear, accurate messages. And for some reason, I was ready to say September, so maybe that month is significant to some of you. Give me more messages for Sagittarius. Oh, no, that kind of just fell out. I'm not going to take those. Please give me more messages for Sagittarius for the month of February. Can you clarify this Wheel of Fortune? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Sagittarius? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here, Spirit? Can you clarify this King of Pentacles? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Can you give me a final likely outcome? Okay. Clarify this King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Okay, Sagittarius. So the first card you receive is the Wheel of Fortune, which is your energy. This is Sagittarius energy. This means that someone feels... Um, very lucky to have met you. They feel like you were placed in their life at the right time. Um, they feel like you two are destined to be together. But for whatever reason, I feel like you two may have went through some things because they're feeling like they can't control if you two are together or not. So at this point, they're just, um, what the Wheel of Fortune just basically means like they're just leaving it up to the universe because the Wheel of Fortune represents divine timing, which basically means you need to have patience. Um, but... This person definitely loves you. Um, it's just that 
they're not going to really put any effort forth to take actions, you know, to come towards you right now, um, they're going to let the universe do their thing. So if something happens and they feel like the universe is telling them, hey, you know, take action, then they're going to do it. But right now, they're just going to let whatever unfolds unfold. Um, now, when it comes to career, this means good money. This means that you're on the right path. Uh, this card is always a yes when it's in the upright, which it was. So it just... Um, you know, your money is about to increase. Everything for career is really about to go good for you. Now, this was clarified by the judgment card, which is Capricorn and Scorpio energy. So this does represent someone coming back into your life or represents, you know, last days coming back to life. So um, whatever you and this person went through, it just, the judgment means that, you know, you have to make a decision. So, you know, when they come back, you have to decide whether you want them or not. Um, and remember this, these two cards came right underneath of the gold digging, um, Oracle. So this could be someone that you feel like, you know, is just kind of with you for monetary things. They're not with you because they truly love you. Um, but I do feel like because of the wheel of fortune, I do honestly feel like they love you, but at the same time, yes, they may be with you, um, you know, more so for the benefits as well. They may just feel like, okay, I love, I love this person. Um, and, you know, they're a good provider. They provide me security or whatever the case may be. So they would rather stay with you. Um, but they know like at this point, they don't want to keep pushing it because I feel like you're up in the air with whether or not you want to move forward with this connection. Now with the world card, which is Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus energy, this represents, um, like, some of you may be graduating from school, some of you may be getting a divorce, but this definitely represents um, a new cycle. So, if, you know, you do decide to take this person back, you two will have a new cycle with one another. However, if you decide that you don't want to take this person back, um, then you're just going to start a new cycle in life by yourself, which you may meet someone new, um, or you may create another, a new business um, venture, but you're going to go through some type of new cycle, whether you do decide to be back with this person, or, you know, maybe if it has to do with career or something of that sort. Now, um, if you do take this person back, normally with the world card, you know, it for relationships, it basically states that, you know, you two will be like happy, secure, um, and in a more committed place. But this was clarified by the two of pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. And this is my third party card. So this is someone that, you know, you feel like they're hard to pin down. Um, and, you know, they're juggling. They probably have more than one person. I'm getting a more single energy out of this person. But also, I'm getting that for some of you, you may be dealing with two different people because you have two kings side by side, the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So this may be you juggling two people. I'm not sure. Take it however it resonates. But someone um, is definitely juggling more than one person. So I feel like if you do have two people... One of the people that you're dealing with, you feel like they're really hard for you to pin down. Um, and with the world card, I feel like you want a new cycle with this person. Now, with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like that's a whole nother different person. So um, I'm just I'm, I'm just getting the energy like it's a different person. So you have two people that care about you, that love you. But like I said, one of them is kind of hard to pin down. One of them don't want to let you go because of what you can do for them and the benefits they receive while being with you. So with that judgment card, that's why I'm saying you need to make a decision. Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to try to pursue this person that is, you know, possibly have commitment issues, hard to pin down? Or are you going to go back to the person who, you know, you feel like are with you for all the wrong reasons, in a sense? Not saying that they don't love you, but um, I feel like they, they, they love what comes with being with you more than, you know, the actual relationship. Because <clears throat> remember, you have the oracle that says for, for the clout. 
Um, they're doing it for the fame, the attention, the views. Doesn't want to be left alone. So, you know, they don't like to be alone. They feel like they need someone by their, by them side. I'm sorry, by their side. So you have the King of Pentacles. Um, now with the King of Pentacles, this is earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. This is someone who is very generous. They like to have a family. They would love to be, um, they love to be a provider, a uh, good father, good husband, typically a business owner, um, if they had a regular job, it would be something more so in finances. This person more than likely has children, um, but they're also a workaholic. So this is a good person for you. Now, keep in mind, this could be your energy because, you know, we have a lot of different energies coming out in here. Because like I said, we have two kings, but then we also have the world card, the will of fortune, and the two of pinnacles. So I do feel like it's a lot of different energies. So I hope it's not, you know, getting confusing. Confusing. So just take the roles and reverse them however you need to. But I do feel like with one of these kings, and this could be a woman as well. Um, this is gender fluid. But, you know, with the king of pentacles, like I said, this is someone who really wants to settle down with you. This is someone... Um, you know, they, they're looking for longevity. They're looking for the long term. So it's like, and it came next to that world card. And world the world card also speaks about longevity. So I feel like whoever this is, so maybe you're the king of pentacles and they're the world or they're the world. Um, I'm sorry, or they're the king of pentacles and you're the world, whatever. But I feel like these two, this would be the perfect connection. The king of pentacles and whoever this world card represents. Now... The King of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups uh, clarified the King of Pentacles. So with the Ace of Cups, this is Cancer Energy. This represents an opportunity to fall in love or to be emotionally fulfilled. So if you're in a relationship right now, um, you know, the Ace of Cups can signify like an opportunity for a renewal in the relationship where, you know, you and your partner are going to let learn to let go like past wrongs um and pretty much open your hearts up the ace of cups can also um be a sign of upcoming celebration so and that could be like baby showers engagements weddings um because the ace of cups really signifies pregnancy and fertility so some of you may be getting pregnant or getting someone pregnant so if you don't want a baby if you don't see a baby in your near future then be very careful because that's what the ace of cups represents um and i'm getting for some of you if you are pregnant i'm getting that more than likely maybe a girl child now for finances with the ace of cups um it means like you have a lot of money coming in so whatever you're doing continue to do um don't get so caught up on love continue to focus on your career because like i said you have a lot of fine, uh, money coming in your money is about to increase and you got that with quite a few cards so far um but yeah so because the ace of cups clarify the king of pentacles whoever this is i feel like this is going to be a really great connection um because like i said the king of pentacles came out next to the world card and then the then it was clarified by the Ace of Cups. So this is a really, really, really great connection in my opinion. Now, with the final likely outcome, you receive the King of Swords, which is um, air energy. So it's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and also um, Capricorn and Sagittarius. So you're in here as well. This is your energy. So maybe um, some of you may be the King of Swords. I'm not sure. And it was clarified by the uh, Four Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy as well. Now with the King of Swords, this just lets me know that, you know, you see the relationship with a clear eye view. So um, you're kind of understanding, you know, where you're at in this relationship and where it's going. Um, because with the King of Swords, this is a person who use, who thinks with logic and not emotions when it comes to a connection. So this, I feel like you are ready to, so if you don't have two people, then I feel like you're ready to get in this King of Swords energy and you're ready to detach from someone. You're ready to start being kind of cold to them. Um, 
Now, this could be a person's energy. I'm not sure. But with the King of Swords, this is usually someone who um, is not married and do not have children. If they do have children, then they did not marry their children's mother um, or they may have gotten a divorce. Um, but this person has commitment issues as well. The King of Swords do have commitment issues. Um, so, like I said, I don't know who energy this would be, but whoever this is definitely has commitment issues. And that could probably go with the person that's in this two of pinnacles energy that's juggling people, but they're single. So, it's like they're just out here dating. And I feel like it's because, you know, they have commitment issues. They're a little scared to be tied down. And remember I said that you feel like the person you're dealing with, at least one of them, because I do kind of feel like some of you have two people. Um, but you do feel like one of the people that you're dealing with is kind of hard to tie down. And that's because, um, you know, they're the king. I feel like they're the king of swords. So you may need to get into this energy and kind of be a little cold to them and kind of detach from them because that's how they come off to you. And that's because they don't know how to do relationships, whether they love you or not. They just you know, always seems to just kind of shy away when it comes to relationships. Um, but this, if you're wondering, you know, who this is, this would be someone, you know, who um, probably is a business owner. Um, they're really great with business. If, you know, they do have a regular career or like a regular job, they're probably someone um, like a leader, a boss or something in their job. Um, or they could be like military, cybersecurity, doctor, surgeon, something like that. But with the King of Swords, this person does stalk you. Um, they may come off like they don't care, but they definitely stalk you on social media. They may never show up in your views on your story, um, but they may use a fake page or stalk you from someone else's page. Now, this was clarified by the Four of Pentacles. So this represents someone holding back, like they're holding back their energy. They have more to give to this uh, connection, but they don't because they're, they're so closed off. Um... And sometimes, you know, with the Four of Pentacles, this could just basically mean that, you know, one of you are really comes off as really possessive, jealous, or controlling. And maybe that's why the other kind of backs away or close off their energy because they don't like that. They don't like to feel like, you know, um, they're backed up against the wall when it comes to relationships because they already have commitment issues. So it makes them hard to kind of let their guard down when, you know, they feel like someone is just, they kind of feel smothered in a sense. Um, so just to reiterate, you know, I feel like for most of you, you have two people. Um, somebody feels really lucky to have met you. They love you. But, you know, they're leaving it up to the universe. Whatever happens is going to happen. They're not going to push it. Um Somebody wants, you know, they see marriage with you. They, they see a commitment, family, love. But someone else is also juggling. Someone is juggling a third party. Someone has commitment issues. So, you know, you know your story. So take it however it resonates. So if you do have two people, um, you know, one of them, I would say, would be a good match for you. Um, but they, they really need to work on expressing themselves more, communicating better, um, learn how to be more emotionally available. Um, and the other one, you know, it's time for you to kind of see it for what, for what it is. So if you feel like somebody is using you, then you need to call them out on their bullshit and maybe just let that, that situation go. So let's get some hidden messages from your person and see what they would like to say to you. Now, keep in mind, this could be what you want to say to them as well. Like I always say, I uh, reverse the roles to fit your situation. So this says, uh, home, you're the missing puzzle piece that makes me feel that I'm right where I belong. <clears throat> Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius for the month of February? This says, ego, it's easier to block everything out now. I'd rather ignore my emotions. So what did I just say? Someone needs to learn to be more emotionally available. And then this says, worry. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I'm overthinking everything. What will everyone else think? <clears throat> so maybe they feel like um, 
if they do commit to you getting this relationship with you and it becomes public, they are concerned about what people um, will say, what people will think, whether people are going to judge them or not. And remember, remember, the judgment card did come out. So I feel like they, they just don't know what to do because they don't want to get judged for dealing with you or dealing back with you. Then it says, time. I know the clock is ticking for us. Won't you wait for me? So maybe they're ready to go into this energy where they're ready to heal and figure some things out. <clears throat> then it says, play. I just want to have fun with you. So I just heard um, no more arguing. Let's live life to the fullest. So I don't know, you know if that resonates with someone, but maybe you two argue so much and they just don't want to do that anymore. Then it says, listen, I'm telling you the truth. You can trust my words. So maybe someone lied in the past um, and they just want you to know that, you know, going forward, they just want to be truthful to you. So this says within a year or more. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what's taking place within a year or more. Then it says unrequited. I'm not sure if we both feel the same way about each other. So, like I said, with that will of fortune, someone feels destined to have met you. They feel like, you know, you were placed in their life for a reason and at the right time. But they're wondering if you feel the same way about them. So, let's get a few more hidden messages from this deck. Is there any other messages that you have for Sagittarius? It says, you came closer than anyone. Um, so, I feel like this is the person who probably comes off a little cold and detached that don't really, you know, let their guard down much. So they're just telling you like, hey, you came really, really close, you know, to having my heart. And then this try to pop out, I love you. So they definitely love you. Spirit, any other messages for Sagittarius? I wish I could take back my words. So maybe you two got into a really heated argument. Some things were said. Um... Oh, that's too many cards. Which one? Okay, and this came out. I wish I could share my good news with you. So maybe one of you have really great news and, you know, you really wanted to share with your person. But because you two are not on speaking terms, I'm assuming, um, one of you cannot share the news. Any other messages, Spirit, for Sagittarius and that person? So this says, finding out the truth crushed me. I feel you leaving me behind. So I feel like this goes with that judgment card where it says, you know, you have to make a decision. You know, or if you're going to um, complete a new cycle with this, renew a new cycle with this person or just completely walk away. And at the bottom of the deck, it says, it's time for me to heal now. So I do uh, feel like... Um, I do feel like your person may be ready to try to work on themselves, try to become more emotionally available for you. Um, you know, hopefully it's not too late. Who knows? Only you know your story. But I hope that this helps Sagittarius. Um, and I'll be back next week for the weeklies.